Well, even though today marks the Labor Day holiday, we're still digging for old here on The Story. It's a weekly segment on the show each Monday where we dig into the Oregon Historical Society's massive online collection to bring you stories from the past. And because it's Labor Day, we went poking around for anything union related and stumbled on quite the story from more than a century ago. The Historical Society stumbled on this in its collection back in 2010, but it dates back to the late 1910s. You may have heard the term 4-H before, but what about 4-L? The 4-Ls are no mistake. They stand for the Loyal Legion of Loggers and Lumbermen. It was created in late 1917 by the War Department of the United States in an effort to ramp up timber production from the Pacific Northwest. The U.S. had just entered the fray of World War I, and the Allied effort desperately desperately needed spruce, the ideal wood for airplane construction, among other wartime needs. But there was a big problem, a region-wide strike in the lumber industry. Big lumber companies had the upper hand on workers before the war, paying them on average 35 cents an hour, and it certainly was not a desk job. There was real danger in logging back then, just as there is now. But when the U.S. entered the war, the need for supplies gave loggers leverage, so they demanded better conditions. The industrial workers of the World Group, notorious for getting results through strikes and walkouts, spurred tens of thousands of loggers off the job across the Pacific Northwest in mid-1917. By September, most were back on the job, but still striking by working slowly. You may have heard the modern phrase in the workplace of quiet quitting. That's basically what was happening more than 100 years ago. Lumber production remained down and the War Department was forced to do something. They sent a man named Bryce P. Disk to the state of Washington to figure out a way to get the lumber numbers up. He created the Spruce Production Division, a unit of the U.S. Army that put enlisted loggers and mill workers to work in the forests, and the 4L, the civilian equivalent of the Spruce Production Division. Here's the pledge that men had to sign to be come a part of 4L. After becoming a member, work conditions improved with the War Department forcing employers to accept the previous union demands of an eight-hour day and improved conditions. Those who refused to join 4L had a hard time finding work in the lumber industry. The Historical Society says they were seen as radicals and anarchists, often blacklisted from companies. Now, the Loyal Legion of Loggers and Lumbermen had its own logo in pins. Here's one from the Historical Society's collection. The pins prominently displayed the, the phrase authorized by the Secretary of War along the bottom there. One of the influential figures in the 4L here in Oregon was a man named Maurice Edgar Crumpacker. He worked as an attorney in Portland from 1912 to 1924 before serving as a Republican member of Congress representing Oregon. The Historical Society has Crumpacker's own 4L coin, and if you'd like to learn more about him or his involvement with 4L, an entire collection of his papers are held in the Historical Society's research library. Now, the reason why many of you have likely never heard of 4L before today is because membership peaked in 1918 with more than 100,000 people. But that number dwindled over the years, with the group officially folding in 1938. But even though World War I changed much of the European landscape, it also changed the labor landscape of the lumber industry in the Pacific Northwest for the following century and beyond.